They have smaller ones, but because they're not strong enough, I'll be using the larger ones. For every piece that I cut into two, I'm going to be adding those two pieces together. And I am doing this because when it's doubled, it's a lot much stronger than when it's just one. I'll be attaching ASILs to the corner guard. I'll be pre-drilling holes on the ASILs and the corner guard before attaching the screws. I'll attach one ASIL to one corner guard. Now I have two. They'll be joined together. And I'll be pre-drilling holes somewhere here, in the middle, and at the top, before I then attach screws. Before putting them together, I'll be adding two more easels at the top. Because I have some little space here, I'm going to push them down and cut off the excess that's at the top. For the top, you can use a Dollar Tree tray. Now, because I didn't have that, what I had was an acrylic turntable. And it's strong and can carry heavy weight. So I took off the parts that I don't need, and then I'll be attaching this to the base that I just made. To keep the structure strong, I'll be applying a strong adhesive in between all the ASOLs. And I'm using the clear E6000 glue. I'm going to leave this for about 30 minutes before I then turn it over and apply glue to the other side. And this is what it looks like. A cute clear table. And you can even add a mirror on top. They have smaller ones, but because they're not strong enough, I'll be using the larger ones. What I picked up are four feet long, so I'm going to be cutting each and every one of them into two. This clear plastic is really hard, so I'm going to be cutting it with a handsaw. For every piece that I cut into two, I'm going to be adding those two pieces together. And I am doing this because when it's doubled, it's a lot much stronger than when it's just one. Because I used the saw, the edges are kind of rough, so I'm going to smoothen it all out using a pair of scissors.
Now I have four double pieces and each of them are going to be marked in the middle because I'm going to have three partitions, one at the top, one in the middle and one at the bottom. And I'll be using corner braces to hold the partitions in place. Because the plastic is really hard, I will pre-drill the holes first before then attaching the screws. You will notice that what I have at the bottom here is positioned differently from the one in the middle and the one at the top. The braces positioned on this plastic are on the far right and the next one is on the far left. For the partitions, I'm going to be using something that's not too heavy but then strong enough for my decor items. This is what I'm going to use. Now this one here is real glass but it's heavy. compared to this one that is actually glass and it has an acrylic sheet that's going to protect it at the bottom. So I picked this one. So I'm going to take off the edges and work with this one. The stuff that's at the back cannot be removed. It's permanently bonded to the acrylic sheet. So I just left it there. I'll be cleaning the glass with paper towel and a glass cleaner before attaching the glass to the legs. I press the screws down on the foam board to keep it in place while I work. I'm using a strong adhesive to attach the glass to the legs and I'll be using an E6000 glue. I want the corner braces and the glass to stay firmly together, so I'll be using a binder clip to hold them tightly together while it dries. Remember I said the first and the second corner braces are going to be placed normally and the one at the bottom, I turned it the other way around. Now because of that, I have to compensate for the space over here and I use a piece of foam board for that. When I was done, I left it overnight to dry. Now for the lovely gold edges, I'll be using a Dollar Tree gift box. I'll be cutting pieces from this gift box so that I can make use of the sharp and precise edges that it has. Look at that, they look like nice golden metallic pieces. Now I'm going to cut the larger box into two. 
and I'll continue making the cutout for the edges. This is from the first half, so I'll be making two more from the second half. Now these are all pieces from one gift box. This is just for the front, but I need two gift boxes to cover the front and the back. I have a bit of a problem now because the screws that are coming out here were supposed to be cut before I attach them. Now I checked online and this is what was recommended for cutting screws. So because of my situation, I had to use pieces of foam board to hide the screws. So overall, I used two golden gift boxes to cover up the corners and edges. This is what both pieces look like together. This is the amount you pay for something like this in stores. And this is the amount I spent making mine. This is the size that I wanted for this end table, but if you like, you can use a much larger photo frame to make your design wider. It's really a fun idea to use gift boxes and easels to contribute in making cute side tables, which one of them has golden embellishments. Thank you so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.